uh, your cars, um, and then we'll spend the night in Grafton um, um, tonight, tonight, and then do three cruises tomorrow. We've got two sightseeings, and then a, a, two, a, a sightseeing, morning sightseeing, a lunch, and then an afternoon sightseeing, and then we travel 24 hours without passengers to get back to Peoria. So we've got a lot. This has been kind of a long. This is a six-day trip for us, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, our passengers had a good time coming down here. So if you ever want to do a longer trip, um, that uh, that two-night, three-day is a wonderful trip. We we travel 100 miles the first day from Peoria to a little town called Meridosha, where we drop you off. Um, then you spend the night in Springfield at the President Lincoln Hotel, tour the Lincoln Museum. Then down the second day, we travel down to Grafton, obviously, uh, at mile zero where the Illinois meets the Mississippi River. And then they spent the night at the Pier Marquette State Park last night. And then obviously yesterday, I traveled down here to St. Louis. So that's our southern trip. We also travel and down the Mississippi and then up to Hannibal, Missouri. And that's a four night, five day trip. And then also in Peoria, when we get back, we have four fall foliage trips going north up towards Chicago to the Starved Rock State Park. Oh, wow. And that's the sister property to Pier Marquette, a very nice uh, state park that we we, uh, we travel to as well. But uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the spirit before we head to the wheelhouse, but uh, uh, we are a true paddle wheeler. That's what makes us different than all the other boats. Like you'll see the boats ahead of us and stuff. They've all got props and thrusters that move the boat around. Um, all we have is the big red wheel back there. Uh, makes it a little, little, little more challenging, but a lot of fun. Uh, but that's how, I mean, obviously, they operated 150 years ago with just a steamboat and a steam, uh, just one paddle wheel. But uh, the uh, the uh, how how our, our our paddle wheel works is diesel electric. So you can hear underneath my feet uh, being built for Peoria. We have two Caterpillar 3412 diesel generator sets. They create uh, all of our AC power. But then we rectify that to DC <clears throat> through a, tra a railroad rectifiers and send it back to two electric railroad motors. So these uh, electric traction motors turn 40 feet of belt chain, one foot wide, 40 feet long, that drive the big paddle wheel. So uh, we'll be making uh, probably about uh, six or seven, six miles an hour upstream here on the Mississippi. When we're going downstream on the Mississippi, we can reach speeds of almost 14 miles an hour. So that's pretty fast in a big paddle wheel, actually. But, uh, but uh, going up against the current, we'll probably just be making six or set, six mile an hour. But then when we get um, up into the canal, um, through the chain of locks rock, we'll probably be making about nine or 10. And then when we get back up on the Mississippi up to Grafton, probably, you know, drop back down a little bit. But enough to water ski, Bob? Almost enough to water ski. That's, that was my uh, goal when I, when I got this boat uh, 27 years ago. I, I, I haven't done it yet. But one day I'm still going to water ski behind the boat. I'm a, I love to water ski. I, I, it can be done, but uh, we, 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 we used to race the boat. We've raced it a few times, and we are undefeated in our racing schedule. You know, we've raced the Delta Queen and uh, a lot of Bell Louisville, um, and we, we haven't lost yet. So uh, we've taken the boat all the way to Cincinnati, Ohio, um, Louisville, Kentucky, and all the way up to St. Paul, Minnesota as well. So it's been uh, it's been around quite a bit. But. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, these are these are some great entertainers up here. Um, uh, we've got Ted Lehman here, who uh, is he obviously our ragtime piano player. I think you hopefully can tell by the derby and the tie. But he'll be uh, tickling the ivories a little bit and playing the calliope. Uh, you know, we call it a calliope on a riverboat or a calliope in the circus. That's our big air organ up there. And uh, uh, Barry Cloyd is a fantastic musician, banjo, guitar player, you name it, uh, um, singer, songwriter. And um, he's a river laureate as well. He's going to talk to you a little bit more about what's going to happen today. Uh, but you guys uh, just uh, you guys just relax today. This is going to be a fun day. Um, I, I apologize for the rain, but hopefully it's going to clear up this afternoon and uh, you'll be able to see some great sights. But we do have some covered areas up on third deck even and out on second and stuff. So. You know, hopefully you guys can get outside. The whole boat's yours, so you can roam the whole boat. But enjoy yourself. I'm going to let Barry uh, tell you a little bit more about today.